I'm good. You're good. Top five. Uh, my first one is the first Nike shoe I ever owned. Living in California, my mom convinced my dad to buy them for him. This isn't the original colorway I had. I had the mm-hmm. black Sweet joints. <laughs> I had the black That's joints, I think, with the, white swoosh, uh, with the white swoosh. But the Nike Cortez. Love it. I still love it. I All think right. it's a great shoe. It's one of those shoes that, like, you, you know... Kendrick. When, and well, oh, he's with Reebok now, so. But. I bet you he still wears them. But it's one of those shoes that. Um, it's one of those shoes that. Hey. Hey, you! <laughs> Am I good? Yeah, you're good, bro. <laughs> it's one of those as, shoes. As he moves the camera. It's one of those shoes that, like. <laughs> God, Jesus. It's one of those shoes that, like, I just feel right now as you get older, it just goes with anything. It's a great shoe. I love it, and I'm looking to buy some other more originals. I'm not going to pay full price for them. I'm not going to pay 80 I'm not going to pay $100. i will pay 49 I'll pay 50 for them, but they're still great shoes, and I love them. Uh, number two, the questions. I had, like I said, I had every single shoe as a kid in number school. Number four? Number four, sorry. I had every single shoe as a kid. I'm not going to lie to you. Every single shoe as a kid in school. My mom bought me every single colorway. I had every single model. Uh, Reebok questions. Uh, hands down, one of the most, like to me, one of the most iconic sneakers ever. I mean, it's probably the greatest sneaker that Reebok ever created. One. And I remember when I had the blue paralyzed. Well, either that or the pump, the first pump. Oh, the pump. The what? Uh, D Browns? Yeah. Either that. Fresh. But I had the blue pearlized, and then what really cemented me, 8th grade, as like, yo, Greg is the official sneakerhead, was when I got the reds. It wasn't really common. Like Ryan said, Ryan said that he would get one for school and one for Christmas. It was facts. I would get every single colorway of a shoe. I had the pearlized blue, the pearlized red. I had the low tops. I had the black and gold. I had every single colorway of this, and this is still one of my favorite sneakers of all time. Now, can I wear it with how I dress now? Eh. Not really, Maybe but every once in a while I will rock it. I can't. I hate the lows. I, I didn't like the low top version. It's but the same shoe. Love this. It is, but it's that's not for me. That makes sense. Uh, my number. Ah, this is a rough one. My Ooh. number. My number three. I'm gonna give you extra laces with these. Though. I don't put them in the one, the one lows or any of that stuff. Number three. Rodman's. This to me. Is the real seventy-two and ten? Okay. Oh, this were a. This was I should punch seventy-two you in the, I punch you in the ten. Chest. The Rodman Air Shake and Destructs. All right. I love OGs. All right. I do. I mean. I mean, are you saying real seventy-two ten because the Nike made one for Jordan in two thousand fifteen? I'm just why, saying. Why? Why would? I'm saying that when I think of Why 72 the 10, no, you're right. The 11 10. is still a 72 or 10. 11, whatever. But I'm just saying, when I think of 72, I think of Rodman's, I think of Pippin's. I do. And I love these. I had no problem paying a pretty high amount for these. And they're wearable, all right? I, wear the, I wore these joints probably like a couple months ago, withheld. I mean, the air bubbles are fogged up. Nike hasn't retroed them yet. I they retroed. They retroed. Wow, colors. Yeah. They retro like a different version of this, yeah, whack but version. it's not this. There's nothing like the original. I remember getting this in seventh grade. I think my friends stole those Mervins. I think you stole them. <laughs> nah, I think you told us you I stole had, them. Uh, I had some Rodmans, but not that one, I don't think. Okay. And I don't then, remember which one it was. But I, had uh, but I remember seventh grade, getting these, and I remember I came to school late. Oh, I had the Lowe's with the swoosh on the on the toe box, like the, one of the first shoes. Oh, and the zip-up ones. On the so box. you had the indestructible ones. He had the ones that were like the New playground the, joints. Oh, I, remember, yeah, I know what yeah. he's talking about. Uh, seventh grade, came through with these. Every single kid was like, those are the ugliest shoes ever. But people who knew, knew these joints were fire. All right. Low in the death. Fire. Air Shake Indestruct Robins. Number two. No, I didn't have the Indestruct. I'm going to find them, though. Number two. Air Jordan Infrared 6. Number two? This is number two. Now, this is number two for a particular reason, all right? Okay. My number one is, like, a really, really special reason, but my number two, to me, this is, I mean, everyone knows that knows me. I have knows I have about five, six pairs of these. Brand new. I mean, this is just the greatest Jordan to me of all time. Um, I had these right here. Love, one of the, the greatest nigga. Yeah, those ones. I love those. Those are uh, Darwin's. Mm-hmm. Darwin's. That's um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hair minor wore those. Uh, greatest nigga to me of all time. I love them to death. Um, 
there's just something that I just wouldn't, I would never give up. I mean, I just, I mean, I'm probably going to get rid of a few pairs because it doesn't make any sense to have six, five, six pairs that are brand new. Uh, but this to me is the greatest Jordan of all time. And I remember getting, I think this was the first Jordan I got. This might have been the very first <laughs> Jordan I got as a kid. And uh, I think it was fourth grade. And I remember just, I remember feeling fresh. Like, I just remember, like, that walking through the hall, that running, running to the cafeteria trying to get your lunch, trying to get your cafeteria lunch. I remember that. And everybody <laughs> was just, they couldn't believe I had them. Like, it was just one of those big things to have these. Uh, so, yeah, number six, black and red Jordan 6. Uh, I'm sorry, number two, infrared six. And my number one, and I'm going to bring the box up for this. I have the box for all of these, but I'm bringing the box for this. This is the original box, all right? They talked about they talked about LPW, LWPs. LWPs, They talked yeah. about AirTech Challenges. This right here is an original Nike box, all right? I think these were from 87. It's a nine and a half. These are important to me because these were actually my dad's shoe, all right? I've had these, we've moved a lot of places, and I've had these ever since, all right? These are Air Tech Futures, all right? These were also an Agassi that was very underrated, all right? Now, these joints, you don't hear breaking stuff. You know? these joints right here, they've been through it, all right? These are old. These are my dad's shoes, all right? And I don't know how we've managed to, like, just keep bringing them along. <laughs> they just kept coming along, and, uh, I mean... They're obviously not wearable. They're cracked. I mean, they smell like a homeless man's backpack. <laughs> I mean, they're just trash. But you know what? It's something that I'll never give up. It's one of the few shoes in my... I mean, the box might have mold in it. Like, I have no idea what this is in the box. But it's something I'll never give up. Well, I've always some, had it. Sanitizer, no? I don't even want to breathe this in. I mean, this could possibly be the, the patient zero for anthrax. Um... But, you know, like I said, they were my dad's, and, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things that, like I say, you know what, these will always be in my closet. Um, no laces. Uh, I tried them on one time, and they almost turned to dust, so they just sit in my closet right now. But I do love these a lot, so they mean a lot to me. So, that is my top five sneakers that mean the most things to me. Uh, All right, simple. All right, so my top five. Number five. You bring some in? I did bring some in. Well, pick them up. Let me see no, them. I didn't bring in. You didn't bring, I didn't bring five? in five or four. So number five for me is, and I could have brought it in. I didn't feel like digging it out, is the Space Jam 11. Now, the Space Jam 11 for me, because I always wanted 11s growing up, I always loved the Space Jam movie, Space Jam soundtrack, everything Space Jam. And it was the first shoe I bought coming back into sneakers in 09. Camped outside of Scottsdale Foot Locker at the time. Um, they didn't get half their shipment in. And everybody, I remember getting there at like midnight. Everybody had left. I was now first in line. And they only got shoe sizes 7 through 9.5. So I grabbed my 9.5. I was so excited to have it. Um, and it was like... It was like the shoe that got me back into collecting and back into being a sneakerhead. So that, for me, is number five. It was like a great night. I was happy to have it. Um, number four for me is the Agassi LWP, white, gray, brick red colorway. I still remember walking into Champs, uh, foot, or the Champs at Fiesta Mall, and I still remember seeing it on the clearance rack and begging my mom to buy it for me, wearing it out of the store, Wearing it to school the next day, that is one of my favorite shoes of all time. I love that shoe. Like George said, they released that shoe. I'm in the car. I'm driving to pick it up. I mean, it was like, at the time, it was the lightest shoe out. Like, oh, it was, yeah. It was revolutionary for how light it was, it was compared and to everything else. Now, granted, except that whole of getting holes in it and the thing, the only thing was shown was neoprene, but dope. I love that shoe. I honestly don't believe a word you guys are saying. I love that shoe. Because once that shoe dropped, are you going to say... Well, nobody wants this. No, because no, you got to you got to think about it. Look at that shoe, and then look at like AirTech Challenge Two. I I like the AirTech Challenge Two more, but it's bulky though. The L, the LWP like is snug to your feet, and you can wear it with whatever. With you're right, whatever. but you're it not look going to pay retail for it. retail. Not you too, you would. You too. I would. I will have multiple pairs of LWP white, gray, brick red when they release. I won't have multiple pairs. Facts. Okay, pair. get to number three. Facts. All right, get to number three. Number oh, three. Oh. Well, Number three. three. Yeah. Yeah. LWP was four. What was five? I thought it was five. Five was Space, five was Space Jams. Jams. Oh, Space Jams. How did I miss that? You mm -hmm. must have been asleep. 
How did you not put that number one? Number three. Oh, that's on the one. Like Easy Boost 750. No, 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 no. <laughs> number three. Number three, I do not have the original colorway. And I don't have the original colorway with me, obviously. But well, I, don't I was trying to say, if those were Chuck Posits, I was going to knock this camera But over. I do have the those Area 72 version. Those, what do you wear those with? I wore these like twice. They just, they crease easy. I'm not talking about the creases. You're supposed to crease your shoes. Yeah. Look at the no. bottom. No. I, yeah, I wore them twice. Like, I wore them to a Suns game, and I wore them somewhere else. Um, you must have worn them to an oil slick. The, the Barkley Air Force Max, George's Honorable Mention, the um, black and gray colorway is my number three shoe. I love that shoe. I had it in third grade. Uh, George was a junior in college. Uh, <laughs> I remember getting... Uh, detention and having to go to the principal office writing on the bottom of it. I love that shoe. I used to clean it nights before my basketball games when I was in the third grade. I'd sleep with it on. Like, I loved that shoe. It was one of my favorite shoes of all time. Um, you, the wore next, this, you wore this more than twice. Uh, this shoe three is times. trash. That's not trash. Like, and I this that is shoe. one of the heaviest sneakers. It is, it's, <laughs> they are, they're <laughs> super heavy. Yeah, that and Rod Labors. Like, this <laughs> joint, this joint is so heavy. All right. Number three for me, or sorry, number two now for me is a split. I could do a split too. The black infrared six and the white infrared six. These two shoes, this was the first Jordan I ever had, the first sneaker I ever remember having. I had them in the first grade. Uh, my aunt bought them for me. I thought I was like the king of first grade wearing black and white infrared sixes. I remember mismatching them, so if y'all want to know where that started, started right here with your boy. Two chains. Three chains. Um, <laughs> I can't even deal with this. Yeah, I can't deal with this but right these, now. But I these can't. shoes, obviously, like, number two, like, one of the most meaningful shoes, one of the most, like, memorable shoes. How do you feel shoes. like the king of first grade, bro? <laughs> bro I was the king of first grade. Yo, People remember two things about first grade. They remember me and my Jordan 6s, and they remember Philip because he smelled like poo all the time. Nobody wanted to get tagged by him. I actually do remember the first thing, a few things about first grade. Oh, man. I remember these. Like I remember like I was so excited, so felt so blessed to have these. These are these both of these. Like Thank you to everybody who helped me get these when they came back out. All right, bro. Go to number two. All right. No, we are, we're on number one now. Oh, number one. Let's go to number one. What's your number one? Y'all should know what number one is. Is this an original colorway? This is an original colorway. This is the original colorway. This is the colorway. I have no idea what it is. Neither do I. I probably won't be shocked. When oh, I'm, I'm not shocked. The oh, yeah, right. Barkley CB94 Home Edition. Why would you pick that edition. color of all the colors? Like, Because this is the colorway that I had when I was a kid. Like, I, I'm i sure like, like Christmas. Christmas in fourth grade? Third grade. Um... I begged to open a, a Christmas present on Christmas Eve. You know which one's the sneaker wait, wait, box. What is this picture you sent? Is you that, know are which you ones. Are you playing baseball and, and challenge LWBs? Yes. What the hell? A true OG. Oh a God. true OG playing You're baseball an actual wacko in LWPs. You're a wacko. I couldn't figure out what that picture was. He texted us. I was so, like, what is this, the Sandlot? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I we'll didn't put, look hey, at it. We'll put the picture on Instagram so y'all can see it. But these shoes, this Barkley... Is I mean I remember opening it at Christmas Eve. I begged, begged and pleaded to let my have my parents let me wear it to midnight mass in the snow in Cleveland. <laughs> I mean I was like, if they didn't let me wear it, I would have cried. Um, so this shoe to me is super meaningful. I was a huge Suns fan growing up, a huge Charles Barkley fan growing up. Um, when it came out. I said it before on the show, I bought four of them, and I still have all four of them. And I have hooped in one, I've worn one casually. This shoe to me is the number one shoe of all time, period. Hands down, Holy Grail. Jesus, really? All really? That? Holy Grail. All right, George. Top five sneakers that mean something to you. Number five. Number, number five, five, five. Air Tech Challenge 2. I split it because I couldn't pick one. I want to say I like the kumquats paws a little bit better, <laughs> but the hot lavas, it's hard to go against those. The hot lavas. So fire. I split Fun it intended. because the I just love, I remember wearing Nike doing something and the kumquats paws hadn't come back out yet, 
and we and I pointed them out and was like, yo. Fire. Yes. But I will say this. The two best, I just got to get this mention in because you already know how I feel about these shoes, but the two best air tech challenges of all time are the Wimbledon and the first Wimbledon and the first U.S. Open. You put them in the all time? I wish I had already? shoes. I mean, not already, but Come over on. lavas? Come on. And kumquats? Come on. Bruh, Come over on. lavas and kumquats. Right. Those are definitely, Wimbledons are in the top ten hardest sneaker to get <laughs> ever. <laughs> And the USA's are, US are probably in the top ten as well. US hard. opens are in the top ten as well. I, those two colorways are just mind blown. I mean, George just showed us a black pair of US opens. DS size nine. DS size nine for three fifty, uh, and the guy is yeah, actually three hundred. Yeah. But he wants twenty five for shipping from Virginia. They're too small for me. What? I can't wear a nine. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. You can try. I wouldn't even try to pay. I wouldn't pay that much money to you try to squeeze into a nine. I mean, Take that insult out. You can't find those anywhere else for probably less than like seven eight hundred. I mean, I just I don't even know why he's selling them for that. You can't actually. You can't find them. I mean, what am I talking about? You can't literally can't. You know, find honestly them. though, if he wanted to trade me those for OVO Drakes, I'd give him those. Facts. I give him. I give him OVO tens. Well, blacks. If he wants to give me those. So eBay man, eBay if you're them. listening, you, want to you have a standing you want to say offer. <laughs> you want to say his eBay name? <laughs> Look, eBay I'm just gonna hit him up. <laughs> I'm just going to hit him up and say, look, I'll make a trade with you. You can have my OVOs. You let me have those. See what he says. You can send it to... But he's going to have to ship first. You can send uh, it to Sneak Disc Authentication yeah. Center. <laughs> a P.O. box. All right, what All else? Right. Number four. Number four. You'll like this one. Air Max 90. Infrared. Hyperfuse. Of course. Bingo, bango. The number one greatest Air Max of all time. Hyperfuse version. But you like it more than your uh, like it more reds, than everything, huh? more than reds. Infrared hyperfuse, right. great choice. Air Max ninety infrared hyperfuse number four, number three. I don't know what colorway to pick, and this is what I needed. I realized I needed to add in earlier when you said California. I can't believe I didn't put one in there at first. Probably because I did my list five minutes before the show, and I'm a moron. But Vans Authentics or Eras. Pick a color, navy, all white, damn Daniel, whatever you want. <laughs> damn Daniel! Whatever color you want. All reds, those all reds that just came out that not that not too long ago. I seen like 87 kids in California wearing them I when agree. I was there for two days. I agree. Flams. Number two is a split, and number one is a split, and I'm sure you can figure these out. These are pretty easy. Number two, Jordan, one, black, red. Jordan one Royal, okay. Got to split them. Number two. That's number two. Second best shoe of all time. Second best shoe of all time. Period. No. Oh. What's number one? I mean, one? it's not best shoes of all time. It's shoes that mean no, something. No, no, no. Just hey, well, that, just yeah, okay. It's both. Okay. Wait a minute. Second best of all time. What? We'll, we'll save that for another top list. Yeah. I'm curious what your number one is. <laughs> what you? Did you think those are gonna be number one? I mean, not really, but like. Jordan, I don't know. I'm Jordan a, one black red and Jordan one uh, royal. Well, the so original highs. I mean, you know, or the whatever the right. retro, whatever you got. Number one, you should know what number one is. Jordan four black cement. And uh, Jordan four white cement. Right. Yep. Period. Yeah, a lot of splits. Best show. Yeah, a lot two. Of splits. two. Splits. Yeah, three. Two. Three splits. Uh, three. Yeah. Well, because it, it's hard to pick pause. between those. Pause yourself. Uh, Pause your existence. Ba ba why bread? Bathe yourself. Why fours? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why, why fours? Lake why ones? The Jordan 4 was the first. I want to say it was the first Jordan I have because I am 100% positive I had both of those. I'm not sure if I had the threes. I can't remember. That was a long time ago. I'm an old man. You guys always make fun of me for being an old man. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure if I had the threes, but I know without a doubt I had the fours. I got pictures of yeah. me wearing them. We were 24 when the threes came out, right? Uh, 